Nigerians wait for the expiration of the seven-day grace for President Buhari to decide the fate of the cash swap policy. The battle over the deadline issued by the Central Bank of Nigeria has moved to the court of law. But the scarcity, the scarcity of the redesigned notes has continued and the hardship caused by the desperation to access money has also not reduced. TVC News State House correspondent Femi Akonde reports. The legal fireworks have just begun as the CBN deadline for the cash swap policy is now a victim of litigation from different political groups, civil society and other concerned Nigerians. Now three northern states have dragged the federal government to the Supreme Court of Nigeria over the hardship caused by the central bank's insistence on the February 10 deadline. They are asking for an order suspending the policy. Kogi, Kaduna and Zamfara states are leading the charge against this policy. The APC governors met President Mohamed Buhari last week and they say they are protecting the interests of Nigerians, especially low-income earners and many others whose businesses and livelihoods have been adversely affected by Godwin Emefiele's monetary policy. President Mohamed Buhari says he is clearly aware of the hardship caused by the scarcity of Naira notes and asked to be given seven days to observe the process of implementation before he makes a decision on whether to shift the deadline or not. But with the chaos across the country and the increasing threats to national security, how much longer can Nigerians wait and remain cash-strapped? I want to call on the president that seven days is too long a period. The pains is much. Every day is as if it's a year to people to bear. Uh, good as the policy is, it must not be at the expense of the poor masses of this country. There are many local government areas across this country without any banking facility. And many of these people, they have their money at home. As I speak to you, I have a record of people who died because they had no money to buy drugs in the last few days. The Nigerian people are in support. On the flip side of this hardship is a group of political parties threatening to boycott the election if the central bank bows to pressure and shifts the deadline. Election is also fast approaching, but the consequence of this currency redesign policy will either make or mar the electoral process. As the government scratches its head to find a solution to the hardship, Nigerians are also getting more and more impatient with a policy that mostly affects the majority of citizens.